Hello everyone and welcome. Are you tired of having to do all your riveting by hand? Well, so am I. That's why today I have a solution. I just got this cordless power riveter from an Edutech that I'll be testing out today. Up until now, I've been using a hand riveter from Harbor Freight for all my riveting projects, but it takes a lot of effort to use and it gets jammed up all the time. On the other hand, using a pneumatic riveter is just too much trouble with the air hose dragging behind and the loud compressor noise. So instead of that, I decided to try out this cordless power riveter from an Edutech. So let's give this puppy a try and see how it performs. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching honest tool and product reviews plus helpful DIY projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce a new product review video or DIY video. All right, so let's see what we have here. Very plain brown box. Let's open it up and see what we get. All right, guys, so this is the 18 volt cordless brushless power riveter from an Edutech available on Amazon, link in description below. Now, at the time of making this video, this kit retails for $199.99. And what do you get in the kit? Well, you get the power riveter itself, you get a rapid charger, you get two 3 amp hour batteries, 18 volt lithium ion batteries, by the way, and you also get a wrench and the nozzles attached to the wrench, so it's basically a holder and an installation tool for changing the nozzles on the riveter so you can use different size riveters, as we'll talk about later. You also get the owner's manual that tells you everything about the unit, how to take care of it, warranty, all that kind of good stuff. I suggest you read through it. Now, the warranty on this unit is two years, and the unit is fairly compact for this type of unit. It's only 10 inches in length by nine and a half inches in height and two inches in thickness. The weight of the unit is actually not too bad either. It's 2.4 pounds without the battery, and if you install the battery, it is 3.7 pounds, so not too bad. Fairly manageable for this type of unit. Now, this unit is a brushless unit, which means no sparking and longer battery life. If you're using it in an industrial setting where you may have some flammable liquids and stuff, brushless is better because you don't have any sparks coming from the motor. It does have a two-speed motor with RPMs ranging from 0 to 400 RPMs or 0 to 1400 RPMs and you can select that right down here on a little control panel that it has at the base where you install the batteries and let's put one of the batteries in here and there you go and when you click it you see right there at the bottom where you can select the speed and it has a little digital display telling you exactly what speed you're using it also has an LED light right there for your convenience when you're doing work and so forth you can see a little bit better what you're doing now, like I said, this does have 1,400 no-load RPMs and 7,380 pounds of pulling power. The maximum torque on this unit is 40 newton meters or 354 inch pounds or 295 foot pounds, depending on how you want to look at it. It is a one-click operation where basically you push the trigger one time and it does the entire operation all by itself. It didn't do much there because we don't have a rivet installed, but we're gonna see that later. But you just push it and let it go, and it does everything going forward, backwards, everything all by itself. You don't even need to hold the trigger down to get the riveter uh, to do its job. And according to the manufacturer, you can get up to 800 rivets done with a four amp hour battery. Now I know these are three amp hour batteries, but the four amp hour is what they use for their testing. And as far as the rivets and nozzle sizes that you can use, you can use for the nozzle size of 3 30 seconds, 3 16 5 30 seconds, or 1 8. And you, different types of rivets that you can use for this unit, you can use aluminum, copper, or stainless steel. And the batteries, by the way, are also Makita compatible batteries. So if you already have Makita batteries, you can have more batteries to use with this tool, making it very convenient for you guys. And the rapid charger does charge up these 3 amp hour batteries in about 30 minutes, so that's fairly rapid charging right there. Now you can use this unit for riveting just about anything that you want, whether it's copper, aluminum, stainless steel, brass, plastic, leather, just about any kind of material you want, you can use this for riveting it together. So this is great for the hobbyist, the DIY repairs around the house, automotive work, industrial work, aircraft, etc. Just about anything that you need a blind rivet installed, this unit can take care of it for 
area. So let me get these batteries charged up and then we'll take a look at it further. All right guys, so let's talk a little bit further about the unit and see how it performs. Now as far as the unit goes, basically you can see it's kind of like your cordless hand drill, that kind of thing, your cordless power drill. You have your basic body here, ABS, has a nice rubber overbowl so you can get a good grip on it whether your hands are sweaty, dirty, whatever. Batteries down here and this part up here is all metal. So this is very durable up here. You should have no trouble whatsoever. And like I said, as far as the battery goes, we have them all charged up. You see it has a nice level indicator built right into the batteries there. Makita compatible, so any problems you should be able to have any batteries you can fit on this unit in the future. Now as far as the wrench goes, like I said, it is a holder for the nozzles as you can see the different nozzles right there. And as far as the nozzle goes, if you need to change it, you use this part of the wrench right here to be able to take the nozzles on and off and swap it out to another one. Now this part over here, if you need to do any maintenance like lubrication or any of that, you use the big part of the nozzle, slide it down here, and you use this to take it apart so you can clean it, lubricate it, jams, any problem whatsoever, you can take that apart right there. So that is the good use right there. The, this wrench is very useful for everything related to this tool right here. Now, as far as what I've been doing up until now, is I was using this hand riveter right here from Harbor Freight. And when you put them side by side, you can see it's pretty much the same length as the power riveter. It's almost the same. The riveter is a little longer because it's motorized and it has more torque to it and so forth. But it is pretty much the same size tool as that. So it won't take up a lot of room in your toolbox. And if you need it to for whatever reason, if it takes up too much room in your toolbox, you can keep in mind that this front part does unscrew right here. You can take this off and you'll have a much smaller unit to put away in a toolbox if you need to do that. But if you don't need to take it apart, you can leave it attached and you'll have no trouble whatsoever. Now, what I have right here is I have a piece of metal that has some holes in it. Let's do a little riveting and see how that performs. So I already changed the nozzle tip to the rivet that I'm gonna be using, and we'll test that out right now. And by the way, the kit does not come with rivets, so if you have uh, some rivets, that's fine. Otherwise, you're gonna to need to buy some rivets because this kit does not bring them. So let's test it right here. You see some holes already pre-drilled into there, and I'll show you sideways so you see that I don't even need to hold this down. I'll just click it and let it go. So let's try this out right there. And that's it, it's all done. Now let me change the tip and we'll move on to a different size. All right guys, so I switched out the nozzle, the tip on it, and we're gonna go with a smaller rivet this time. So let's put that in. And here we have a smaller hole. These on the side are bigger. That's a smaller hole right there. Let's try that one and see how it performs. So we already used a large or medium one previously. Now let's go with a smaller one. And there you go. And there you go. All done, all by itself. You see that one there and that one over there perform beautifully, no trouble at all. All right, guys, there you have it. A review and demonstration of the 18 volt cordless power riveter from an Edutech. I think this is a great alternative to riveting by hand. If you have a lot of riveting to do, using a cordless riveter is the way to go. Stop straining your arms with a poor quality hand riveter and get rid of the noise and air hose of a pneumatic riveter. Cordless battery powered is the best way to go. You can do hundreds of rivets on one battery alone, but this kit brings you two batteries to last you all day long. Check out their Amazon page for full details. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye for now.